Hi friends, welcome to Tech Tutorials in Telugu by Teja. In this channel, we are going to learn about Linux, Windows, VMware and cloud computing platforms. Please do support by subscribing. Now, let's get into today's topic. Hi friends, welcome to Tech Tutorials in Telugu by Teja. See in this video, let us see how to take Active Directory database backup. Okay, uh, this we are going to see, we are going to take the backup firstly by using system state and we are going to delete the few OAUs and the users as well and by using the restore option we are going to restore all those stuff we are going to boot the server in DSRM mode I'll show what exactly how to boot in DSRM and all those stuffs so before going into the practical straight away I'm not going to explain any theory part in this so first of all we are going to install let us write the step install uh, Windows features So let us install the Windows backup feature. See, this is my server in which I have installed the Active Directory. You can see here when we go to Server Manager, when Server Manager loads completely, right? Uh, you can see what all the services running you can. I will show you. See here, ADDS, DHCP, DNS, and file share, all those stuff running, right? You can see all those stuffs. So we are going to take the backup of this server right now this server don't have any backup so to make firstly to take the backup we need to install the server backup feature for how we install you know go to manage add roles and feature okay, it is taking some time to load yeah add roles and feature click next and we are going to install on the same server click next here we are not going to select any roles we are not going to install any roles for this we are we need to install the features okay in futures uh, you can see windows Server backup over here let me show you windows Server backup over here right uh, select this click next and uh, you can choose the restart the destination server automatically if required okay if this role or feature requires a reboot right if you check this one it get auto rebooted click install so the feature has been successfully installed close this once we install the feature right you can see that in the tools now I am going to see the Windows Server backup in this you can see here right Windows Server backup select this when I click on local backup right uh, if there is any existing backup present on this it will show up over here if not it will show blank okay let we are waiting to get it loaded see there is no uh, previously there is a backup for this practical I just uninstall the feature right that is the reason it is showing up okay but right now we are going to take take a backup freshly okay how we are going to take click on backup once over here for you it won't show friends because uh, I have executed this earlier that is the reason it's showing up but for you it won't show any of the backup is available at that time what you need to do you need to go to backup once over here and you need to select here we are choosing backup once right that is the reason it is not showing it the scheduled one is not highlighting so click next and we are going to select the custom backup click next and we need to add the items over here how we are adding click add over here and just select the system state not to select anything else I'm going to select the system state only system state click OK and come to advanced settings over here and go to VSS settings you need to select the VSS full backup see we are not using any other products to backup the application right that is the reason we are choosing the full backup here you can see the option description over here why we have choose full full backup like that okay click ok click next and where you are going to share this, save this backup are you going to save in the file share or else you are going to in the local drive here in my server right now i am having two partitions one is c two drives we can say one is c drive and one other is the f drive in the f drive i'm going to save my backup okay that is the reason click choose local drives 
when you choose na you will be finding all the local drives which are present over here we need to choose the f click next once all these options selected na you need to click on backup so that will take around to something like uh, half an hour to 45 minutes friends okay uh, like it will take some time consuming right however let us use the existing backup of ours you need to set next click next and finish that's it here it will show like this when do you have any backup see right now we had a backup available with us what we need to do is we need to delete some users or computers or whatnot we need to create we can delete some OUs. all the stuff we can do i will show you go to dsa.msc here we had sales for you as well as we had few users over here right let us do one thing let us delete this directly if you can delete the users or else we can delete the sales for you only directly it won't be a problem let us delete completely this for you this complete for you let us delete over here delete yes yeah it is asking use yes all the OUs has been deleted right here the sales OU has been deleted this has happened in your organization only for example take it an example this has happened in your organization okay some OU has been some user for example some admin have deleted few users are for some OUs you need to restore at that time how, what you are going to do is you can close go come to this backup window and just choose recover over here okay what you are going to recover you are going to recover this server right so i'm choosing next when is the backup available we had a backup available on third over here you can see the highlighted one right see i'm just going to choose the third date one click next what you are going to delete uh, recover whether you are going to recover the system state or else it, we are going to delete and recover any file something it will last like that we are going to recover the system state right click next to the original location or else the other location it will last like that so we want the OU to be recovered in the same location okay perform an authority to restore in the active directory files click next see you can see this error right the backup contains the active directory services which can be recovered only when computer is started in active directory services restore mode dsrm last time when we are just installing the ad like uh, when you are configuring the directory services right at that time i have said this is used for the dsrm recovery something right uh, that we are going to use over here so okay click okay we can't restore directly ad we can't restore in this way click okay click close open the run command go to run just type ms config go to boot here you need to select save boot and you need to choose active directory repair over here okay so what see just make a note of what all the changes we are making because you need to make the same changes after selecting this one you need to apply click ok and you need to restart this one to make the configuration changes applicable we need to restart it click ok so once it get restarted right uh, i'll show you we are going to take the rdp again let me show you how, whether it is getting restarted or not this is the vmware console okay here we are seeing the console view but uh, we are going to access this by using the rdp let the server get rebooted firstly so it has been rebooted right you can log in directly here okay try to log in see you can't sign in with the credentials because it is an other available make sure the device is connected to the organization network okay you can't directly log in with your domain credential admin credentials in this dsrm mode go to other user login as a local user okay here you need to give the dsrm password not the other password okay
see friends uh, the server has been booted right uh, once you can go to command prompt here cmd see you have logged into the server with a local admin privilege like local administrator by default it won't function in the domain controller right but you can see here in dsrm mode you need to log in in this way only if not the domain admin privileges and all those things won't work in the dsrm mode okay once you log in right you need to go to backup and recovery once again okay i'll show you open server manager go to tools just choose here a windows server backup go to local backup see after loading this now completely go to recover option you are going to recover this pc this server click next you're going to recover from third date one you had available backup on third right that's the reason it's showing up on third click next and you are going to recover the system state click next and you need to perform a active directory restore on the active directory files yes select this one you are going to recover on the original location only not the other location click next see now there is no error over here right this recovery will cause all the replicated content on the local server to resynchronize after the recovery after the recovery if you had the any additional domain control or all those stuff those got resynced friends okay hope you got the point right click ok you are going to recover the system state and don't do one thing not to select this option because we need to make the system to be booted in a normal boot mode after the completion so not to select this and just hit recover over here see the system state recovery cannot be paused or cancelled once started okay we are not going to click yes let's see how much time it takes okay see it is going to recover all this stuff you can see let me expand and show you yeah you can see right and you can add this practical into your uh, resume friends because like uh, whenever someone asks right uh, i have recently performed this task due to some direct like a ad has been corrupted uh, the physical pdc whatever the pdc uh, is there we had only single something you can mention in this way we try to recover some of the ad files which has been lost by using the system state like that this practical can be explained in your resume friends try to practice or this one uh, if you get any errors just ping me over the chat and after the completion i'll just let you know what are the steps need to be taken care of okay let it get completed see friends uh, the recovery has been completed right uh, you can see here the computer must be restarted to complete the recovery operation let us click restart okay we need to log in with the dsm password again and we need to change the login pattern like we need to make the normal boot okay it has been rebooted but it will be in dsrm mode only it won't be under normal mode because uh, we have already made the ms configuration changes earlier right so we need to log in with the dsrm mode only once again here you can see a window right uh, stating that the system state recovery operation that has been started so on so date has been successfully completed please press enter to continue you are getting an, this a prompt right uh, what you need to do go to run command just type ms config what all the changes we have made earlier right uh, we need to revert them back see here we have selected the selected boot right we need to choose the normal boot over here firstly go and uncheck this safe boot okay and then come to general here you need to choose the normal boot over here these are the two changes once you make the necessary changes right click apply and click ok okay and it will ask for the restart now you can restart now you will be able to access with the domain admin credentials so let it get completed i will show you that once you are able to access with the domain admin cred you need to go to users and computers and validate whether that particular 
OU like organization unit has been properly recovered or not and uh, it is containing some users and computers as well right we need to check whether those has been re like restored or not okay that's what we are going to do now see friends right now it has been properly restarted right uh, now we can able to log in with the domain administrator see you are able to log in right because uh, we have choose it uh, normal boot over there okay once you are able to log in you need to check go to open run and just type dsa.msc this open up the users and computers which are here previously we have deleted this sales for you and uh, all these users has been gone earlier this uh, computer account whatever it is over here this has been deleted earlier by using this uh, like a uh, system state backup and restore option we could able to successfully restore the deleted values as well as the users from this value okay this is all about the lab today friends thank you have a nice day